In this video, we're going to take a look at how to post a report card grade for the end of a nine weeks reporting term. So in Infinite Campus, we're going to start by going into your course and we're going to go to your grades page. The first thing we want to do is make sure that your term and your task are correct. In this case, the term grade means you're posting to that nine weeks, W1, W2, W3, and W4. So we'll have to repeat this each uh, nine weeks throughout the year. Then in Infinite Campus, it's important to note that grades remain in progress until they are actively posted to report cards. So what that means is if your data manager ran a report card today, it's going to show up blank because we have not posted grades yet. So you'll notice that grades show up in progress. And then currently these columns have been grayed out for us throughout the year. Well, once the grading window opens, these posted columns are going to open up for us. So we need to pull our in progress grades over to the posted column. So the way we're going to do that is you'll now have a red post button at the top of your in progress grade. So we're going to click that button. It's going to ask us to confirm that we're in the correct grading term and we're posting to that term grade. We're going to confirm and then a pop-up will confirm again. And you'll notice it's brought those grades over. This is where you can do any of your manual overrides. So one of the uh, grading guidelines in Gaston County is that a student can't have below a 50. So what we're going to do for a manual override is you're going to enter, just like in PowerSchool, we need to change both the grade and the percent. So we're going to change our grade to a 50. And then we're going to type in a 50 in that box. And if you need to do any other manual overrides, you'll complete the same way. You'll also notice you have a report card comments feature. So you can type a comment in. You can also use the fill option if you have a standard comment you like to use. And then you'll notice that the CC button over to the side allows you to add in your canned comments. So these are comments that the district has approved and you can select any of the comments to add in. So for this particular student, I did override their grade based on the grading policy. And I know that that comment is comment 7601. I'm going to add that in. And you'll notice it brings it up to the top. So you can add to that comment, a canned comment. So I'm going to put their actual grade just so um, the parent and the student will know what their actual grade was as well. And then I'll click save and the comment will populate in the box. So once I've had a chance to add in all of my comments, the most important button is the save button in the top left corner. So we're going to go ahead and save here. So once you click save, you'll get a notification that your grades have saved successfully. And then you're, you'll use your drop down menu up in the top left corner to switch to your next class. And you'll continue this process for posting grades for each of your classes. And that's it.